Hello there, my name is Luke and since the last video it has come to my attention that there are even more things in society that really shouldn't be a thing. First up, talent shows. You've had your time, you can hang up the boots. We thank you for Guy Sebastian and Jessica Mowboy for just like David Spade's career, it's your time to move on. Now the voice and the X Factor are those shows where you have to beg your friends like please don't tell me about who won or what happened and that's not because you're worried about them spoiling it for you. It's because you don't care about who won or what happened. Now for those who don't know who won the last season of The Voice, um, it was a young country called Australia because um, it's no longer on TV and we're all winners and we couldn't have asked for a better result really. Now this past season of The Voice, contestants had the option of getting professional singing advice from not one, but two Madden Brothers. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate a good Charlotte song as much as the next guy, but if you're seeking professional vocal coaching from either of the Madden Brothers, then I'm sorry, but you're gonna be living a lifestyle of the poor and the helpless. That was a good Charlotte joke. Deal with it. Sadly, reality shows such as The Voice have been supporting Sonia Kruger's career since 2004, and it's time for it to stop. So for just one hour a day, you can do other shit with your life and make a difference. So please, Watch Seinfeld reruns. Now the second thing that shouldn't be a thing, people complaining on social media. But Luke, isn't this a complaint on social media? Yeah, it kind of is. This video shouldn't be a thing. There is absolutely no reason as to why anyone should be complaining in this day and age. We live in a society where on an off-peak night, Pizza Hut has a quicker response time than the police force. That's the dream. Now often social media complaints come in the form of a white 14 year old girl making a Facebook status. Oh, I want a rich handsome man to buy me pretty things. That's the dream. You're whiny and a 6 at best. On a scale of Martin Luther King to Freddy Krueger, how messed up are your dreams? Oh, work sucked. It was so long and painful. Try being a giraffe with a sore throat. That's long and painful. Oh, I want to go on a holiday. You get a free trip around the sun every day. Now we are up to the rapid fire section. Due to the ever increasing amount of things that really shouldn't be a thing, there isn't enough time to just delve into them all in great detail, so I'll just list a few quick ones. High heeled Crocs, single ply toilet paper, any Adam Sandler film after 1999, the poking feature on Facebook, man buns, diet water, but it's got no calories, no shit. And people who overstay their welcome. You know what's the difference between you and ET? ET got the message and went home. And finally, I read an article last week titled How Wet Wipes Are Destroying the Planet. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to 2020 to see Kanye handle these big issues like creating a stable economy, ending the crisis in the Middle East, and combating the revolution of wet wipes. It is true that scientists are a bit concerned about the bacteria that comes from wet wipes, but is it high on the priority list of things that are destroying the planet? Goes like famine, global warming, terrorism, all up here, Kevin James films, and then wet wipes down here. So on the list, but very low. Perhaps the Daily Telegraph should consider writing an article on the devastating effects of Mall Cop 2, okay, because that was an actual tragedy. Thanks very much for watching. If there's any more things that you think shouldn't be a thing, let me know in the comments below. What? What Jupiter Ascending's on? Grass, I'll be there in a sec. Thought I never see a face. Also, lettuce vending machines, I know what you're thinking, and yes, they are a thing. But never have I been out in public and thought, you know what would really improve this sandwich? Some more lettuce. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich.